Hi guys, I am Anwar Shrasa and I work at Thinktip Technologies as software engineer. Today I am going to give a demo on custom name entity recognition using Spacey, which can be used for various business use cases uh, such as key entity extraction from the documents. And uh, so without further delay, let's get started. So here we go with the Jupyter Notebook. We will firstly install all the required libraries in which first is the Spacey and after that this cell containing the code to ignore the warnings and these are all the dependencies which are required to the custom NER model and this piece of code is to uh, download the in this pre-trained model and this is the large one and there are other uh, more models in English language in which one is small and medium and this one is the large one so now as you can see the English pretend model is being installed and now we will install the spacey transformer and after that this piece of code is to install the spacey transformer for the CUDA when we use GPU then this piece of code should be installed and after that now we are importing the this language model and we are loading the pretend model so this pretend model is uh, uh, trained on the large corpus and it has the uh, pipeline uh, where it can be used for parser tagger and ner so now right now we are using it for ner and i am giving it a text to get the name entity recognition upon this text so we will see the result what are the entities it predicts upon from the text so we will check that so here it is uh, predicting Modi as a person India as a GP and uh, Apple as an organization and Amazon as, as also our organization Alexa is also it is predicting as an organization so yeah and uh, eco as a product so for this uh, this is a pre-trained model and these are the pre-trained entities which it is predicting so for to get our prediction for our own entities we have to train the model in on our data so we can train the model basically for our own entities so as per the requirement so right now i am taking the text data from a uh, block uh, where from this mint block i am taking the text and for creating the training data we need to uh, annotate it and uh, after annotating this data uh, we get the data in this format this is a training data where we are getting the indexes of the entities like this is in process is a company so we are getting the indexes of the that entity so yeah in the uh, for creating this training data we can use a prodigy which is the official tool of spacey or we can use a uh, open source annotation tool which is made by uh, techolic and uh, yeah we can use this uh, for the annotation part for the spacey model we can basically go on this link and uh, upload the text file and after that we can create the training data by simply adding the this text like this we can add a tag like company and we can basically get uh, select this and we can select this so in this way it will be selected after that what we can do is we can basically simply export the annotations and the, our training data will be prepared and uh, so here the training data is prepared and for that we have to prepare the testing data also so right now i am using for the demo purpose i am using this training data as a testing data only and here i am loading the importing the transformers and loading the pretend model and we will train the model on top of this uh, pre-trained model and creating a dog pin object that is required for the uh, training of the spacey model and this piece of code is to 
create the training data uh, in the spacey format basically it will it serializes the uh, data in the format that is spacey needs so yeah this is for the okay so i haven't run this sir uh, and now yeah the training data has been created and this same for the validation data and uh, this is the comma cli command to uh, basically create the config file to give the uh, specify the instructions to train the uh, model so here i am specifying that we the language is english and pipeline we are using is ner and we will uh, use efficiency at the opt optimization parameter we can choose the config file by basically going on the spacey spacey visit Yeah, so here it is. Uh, we can use this document is and he from here we can create the config file. Like we have to use the choose the language that what is the language of the training data and also the we are using the pipeline NER and which of the uh, component we are using like CPU or GPU. If we we will we have the GPU, then we can use the G, uh, GPU option from here and right now we are training on the cpu so and we can also choose the parameter like which is which we want to use efficiency or accuracy and then we can download the we can we can either copy the uh, this file or we can download this file so yeah in this way now and he, from here we we are creating this file with the cli command so the config file has been saved in the directory and uh, and this is the command basically to train the model where we are specifying the config file output path this is the output path of the model and also the path of the training data and the validation data so once we will run this the training will get a start so as i have given the there are not much training data so it will not take much time to train the model so here it is also showing the loss and uh, f score precision recall and the score so by now it is showing one because we are using training and testing data data both are same so now the model is trained and it is saved in the directory in the output folder with model best and model last so we can now load the uh, we can check that whether the model has been downloaded or not so here is the output folder which has been created seconds ago here are the model model best and model last so we can basically test we can load the model best and we can test upon the our testing data testing data has also been taken from the blog uh, which is here on from the mint so this is the blog which i have which text i have taken for the testing purpose so now pass the text to the model and we'll use the dispacy uh, library to check the results so here is the result upon the testing data so it is basically specifying wednesday as a day and 37 this is the percent as percent and I have annotated this thing as year, so it is presenting it as year. Also, it is not uh, that much accurate because it the training data was too small, 
and uh, also we are using talk to wake pipeline and we are not using the transformers pipeline for that we have to use gpu and here it is predicting the percentage it is predicting money as uh, 3121 for as money and also the here also it is has predicted percentage so yeah and yeah now it has predicted this one as money this one as percentage and it has given a pretty good result on this amount of training data and we can achieve a good amount of accuracy in the performance by training it on the larger data set and yeah we can get a much better accuracy than this so guys uh, this was end to end flow to train a custom name entity recognition model. Thank you everyone.